Nga ma jale se dung kuto la vusu manyanga Nigerian artist He attended school in Ghana He's presently in Ghana doing some work I like him so much You know He said when he Dropped out of Cape Coast University The radio program that kept him alive It was therapeutic Was my show The taxi driver show on his FM. He said it some four days ago. That's what he said. He gives credit where credit is due. While some people will say, oh, Black Rasta is high on some marijuana and he's speaking jazz, some other people were able to derive some therapeutic values from the power of the show. This is what Pato Rankin says. My show with Fancy Gadam introduced me to the real world. Nigerian artist Patrick Naimeka Okori, popularly known as Pato Rankin, has disclosed that uh, his show with Fancy Gadam put him on the map. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? And look at the story. As per the Nigerian act, he couldn't comprehend how Fancy Gadam could pull over 20,000 people into one stadium. The incident that took place at the Fancy Gadam and Pant Pato Rankin show introduced me to the real world. It showed me that things like that could happen. And when you read the story, it goes ahead to say that whilst 20,000 people were in the stadium and it was packed, 60,000 more people were at the gate struggling to come in. I remember this show was hampered because of some accidents that happened in Tamale, the place of my birth, and they had to postpone it. 60,000 people were at the gate while the stadium was already packed. This is Fancy Gada. Love him or loathe him. This is the guy who is doing a lot of magic in the north. So many great artists have come out from the north, like Serena, Issa, Sharif, Ghali, and, and the rest. If your name has not been mentioned, it doesn't mean that you are being disrespected. There are so many great artists from there. But a lot of them do not get the necessary shine. Because it is an area that is almost cut away from the rest of the nation. Far away from the capital. Very dry. People see that place as a war-torn area. Oh, people there are not very civilized. And you would hear most of the time people saying, Oh, uh, that means they don't easily understand things. When they want to cheat somebody from the north, oh, they are not easily and they make money online, YouTube money. And they make money online.